Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's everyday inspiration video. Today I'm going to create a card for you inspired by this that I bought, I think it was at a National Trust property recently and it is lavender sleep balm and you sort of take a bit and put it on your skin and you get a lovely lavender scent. Uh, but I really liked the design of the packaging. So I'm going to take inspiration from this today for my card. I love lavender. So I bought these lavender dyes a little while ago, actually. And now I've cut myself some lavender out of white cardstock because I thought I could uh, have a circle on my card with this bit of lavender going around the side. So I've got those. Also, I really liked the font, the white lettering. So I went through my alpha dies and found this one, which has got kind of the curly whirly bits that you can see on here. It's got a bit more texture, but I think that will just add to the card. My sentiment is going to read just for you, and I've cut the words out of smooth white cardstock. But before I run it through the die cutting machine, I put double sided sticky on the back. So these will be sticky when I peel them off the backing paper. The colour I'm going to use is Distress Oxide Milled Lavender, which seemed very appropriate for a lavender sleep balm. It is not as dark as this one, but that's fine. I don't mind a lighter colour. I'm going to use a stitched circle die to cut out my circle. And I've chosen a stitched die because I want that little bit of extra texture. I think I will, well I am going to, I'm going to colour it with the Distress Oxide before I die cut. Because I'm thinking I might also emboss on it and that will make it harder to colour. So I put lots of ink on there, I'm going to give it a blast with my hairdryer so it's nice and dry before I run it through my die cutting machine. So that's the circle I'm going to cut it out with, but I'm thinking I will add another stitch circle die. I'll move it down here just in case I want to use that for something else. So I'm going to add another stitch circle die and emboss before I die cut with the outer circle and that way I should end up with some really nice extra texture. I'm going to hold those in place with a sticky note although I think it will hold the dies in place but the ink's a bit wet still. So I've embossed the pattern now I'm going to remove the inner die and I'm going to use the larger die to die cut now. So there we have our stitched circle with a bit of extra embossing. I'm not sure that's entirely necessary but it looks okay. Next I'm going to use this unstitched, this plain circle die to cut out a circle of smooth white cardstock and that is going to be slightly bigger than this so it's going to give it a tiny white border all the way around the outside. Now I'm going to add my glue to the back of that and place that on the white circle. Give it that tiny, tiny little white border. Before I do anything else, I'm going to add my sentiment. So I want the dot of my J somewhere around there. And now the rest of my J underneath. Rather than do these one at a time, I'm going to take them out of here. On here, I really liked the way the S and the F were interlinked. So I'm going to try and do the similar thing with the F and the J. So my plan is to stick this on a card blank. This is about five and three quarter by five and three quarter square, but I'm also gonna cut a square frame, I think. So there's the frame. I was thinking that could sit inside the frame like that, or I could put the 
square that came out of the middle back in and sit it on top of that like that and I could even oh that's interesting I rather like that put that put the frame put that behind the frame or part of it behind the frame Oh, I could do that and then oh I'm having a thought and then perhaps add some lavender hmm, let's have a think I think I'm going to stick with it like this because although I liked the look of that cutting off like that I think it just looks a little bit odd for this card but that's something I'm going to keep in my visual library for another card I think yeah I think so right I'm going to stick this on here I'm going to get it on square This can go on here. My original idea was to have, was it gone? Have just the lavender restrained within the circle, but I think I rather like it sort of on top of the frame like that and just curving round a little bit. I think we'll pop the frame down. And I'll spread out some of my high tech glue on my mat and then dip my lavenders in. But I don't want that going all the way down to the bottom. I'm going to snip it before it hits the frame. Some finishing touches, a bit of gloss, a little bit of extra texture, and maybe just to bring in something to some of the empty spaces. I'm going to add some white Nouveau drops. Now these won't stay white, they'll absorb some of the milled lavender colour, but that's okay because they'll be the same tone as the rest and i think i'm pretty pleased with that i've taken inspiration from this packaging and created a card right i hope you've enjoyed the video and it's given you some more ideas about things you can do with your circle dies and also how to take some inspiration from things that you like if it has please do leave a comment like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, all the good things, and I'll see you back here very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.